All right, guys, so we're going to be playing the game Escape Room the Game. We've already played the first one not too long ago called, I believe, Prison Break. And now we're going to be playing Nuclear Meltdown. This one's going to be a little more challenging. There's going to be three stars out of the four total. And the first two, which is the lab one and the prison one, those are actually two stars. The hardest one is the, like, Curse of the Aztecs, which is, I think, four out of five. Oh, no, okay, it's five stars, four out of five. But uh, we're not going to do that one because it's going to be very challenging. Nevertheless, though, this is the game, and this is what it's going to include for just this one of four different scenarios. Each scenario is going to have its own unique uh, baggie for with different things in it, right? And it'll tell you, like, the story and all that, which I'll go over as well, because I think it's very thematic and adds that. It also comes with the game rules to the game, tells you how, to, how it works, how these kind of fit into here, and the fact that not only does this give you a time limit for when the game is over, because we have an hour to complete this, but it also tells us little secrets on the side here for different coding and whatnot. Huh. So if we have any, like, oh, no, we have this, like, oh, A, B, C, what does that mean? Oh, we can look it up here. Oh, that's 2, 3, 1, or whatever. Okay, so, and it's on both sides, too. We have different little codes and cogs. I suck at this. She's better at this. I hope you guys are it's, like the, it's like the little orphan Annie decoder ring, but in a box form. <laughs> yep. And um, I think there's a, just a little on thing. Oh no, it's there. Yeah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. I, was, yeah. I was nervous. I ran out of batteries. <laughs> no, I, I just got some big batteries in it. Okay, so that'll be our timer right there. We have our decoder, too, which we'll be using for hints. As this thing beeps, we'll be using our uh, coded things up. So we're going to open this thing up right now. I have not yet to open this. I have yet to play it. I don't As know. As a two-time survivor of it, you're going to want stuff like this. Yeah, that's yeah. true. We definitely going to need pens and papers, so yeah, go ahead and yeah. hand that yeah. over there to you. Take it all. Tally, this would be for you. Yeah. I guess we'll hold it like this here. And, uh, yeah, we'll put this over here. All right, so I'm going to open this all up. And then we also don't want to forget anything either. So we have our hint cards, which will just stick right there when, for us. When the time hits 55 minutes, we'll it'll, it'll make a noise, and then you can look at that card, okay. which will give you hints on what you should be doing. So uh, this is... All right, this says nuclear meltdown. Suspect is William Teller. Crime is placing a bomb. Our apartment, uh, so then it tells you the, the, the location at which the bomb is likely to come out. Now, before I open this up, I have to read the side of the envelope out loud. All right, nuclear All right. countdown. The beeping of the fax machine catches <laughs> fax machine. The beeping of the fax machine catches you off guard. You didn't even know it was plugged in. Who still uses a fax machine anyway? Intrigued by the old-fashioned beeping, you walk to the fax, ma fax machine. <laughs> the fax is a bomb threat, not the first you've seen, and probably not the last. It says a bomb will go off tonight somewhere downtown. No ransom, no demands, no reason. Just this single piece of information. If you had a penny for every bomb threat that came into the office since you've been working there at the agency, you'd be rich. Mostly drunk teens on a dare or a confused man that needs a little attention, it was always easy to separate a real threat from just a prank or definitely uh, or a desperate cry for help. This threat definitely has all the characteristics for the do not take serious pile, otherwise known as the garbage can. 30 minutes later, you're distracted once again by the sound of the fax machine, and it's the same message. Plain and simple. You get a very bad feeling and decide to take the threat seriously. You call your boss for permission and to put a team together. Uh, Don Rubin, a 50-year-old uh, veteran, is now not amused. He reminds you of your silly goose chase during the first week and says he really thought he taught you better. You think back to that first bomb threat when you, when you panicked and warned the whole agency that the world was coming to an end. It was a rookie mistake. But somehow this felt different, and every bone in your body was telling you uh, that this was no false alarm. You decided to lie to some of your colleagues that you had permission to react on a threat, and you form a team. The fax machine was easy to trace. It was from a small apartment on the wrong side of town, Relicon Street 37-05. You and your team head out, and 23 minutes later, you knock on the door of one William Teller. No answer. The lock on the door is as worn down as the building you're standing in, and without, with within seconds, you're in this, the apartment. You see a table that is filled with all the kinds of material that sends shivers down your spine. You also see a flickering red light in the corner. It's the fax machine. You're certain now this is no joke. It's the real thing. Only you and your team can stop this disaster from happening. You and your team start searching the place uh, immediately for clues. At that moment, Don Rubin calls you back and says a man named William Teller has been arrested at the Riverview restaurant. He was making a big scene saying he wanted a window seat to watch the explosion at 8 p.m. sharp. Mm -hmm. You look at your watch and realize that's exactly in one hour. Open this envelope and check if all the uh, contents are present. Press the start button on the chrono decoder and start searching for the coordinates of the bomb. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open this up. Make sure there's nothing in it, because sometimes there's like yeah. little, little <laughs> gadgets. I must have on the first time. There we won't need this anymore, luckily. However, Are you sure? 
this game. Most likely. Very, very likely. Okay, so we've got this. should burn it just in case. We've got this little <laughs> string here. And go ahead and take these apart. Yeah. And we're going to be, so this is like the portion of which, or the do-it-yourself aspect of the game, uh -huh. which you're going to be pulling these all apart. All of our clues. Our clues. That's right. And we're going to be looking through this to try and solve it. Now, just before, yeah, once everything is all put into place, then we'll have the opportunity to push the button, and the timer will go down. We'll have 60 minutes to do so. If we get stuck, we can get hint cards. We can't access them any earlier, though, than that. And this is a part one, I believe, right? <coughs> here. And these actually, these are, these are separate. Apart, yeah. There's always a reason for most mm -hmm. of this stuff. And we won't need this, and we won't need this. This is part one, and this is, in here is part two, then. Yeah, that's it, two parts. Okay, two parts to the show. Um, I suppose, let's go ahead and try and put this somewhere, make sure everybody in the camera can see it okay, yeah? Uh, it could go a little bit this way. It could go a little more on this side. I'll make sure everybody's not hiding anything. Okay. No, there's nothing on the other side, luckily. So when do we do part two? Like well, once when we finish we part one. Finish all this? When, uh -huh. well, so what's going to happen is when we get all the keys and put them in the correct order on the correct side and rotation, put them in, it'll go ding, ding, ding. We'll go to the next one. We do a ding, ding, ding again. Before 60 minutes is up, we win the game. Okay. Hypothetically, you just put the keys in and get the right code and go on to part two. But that's not a very good idea. Yes. <laughs> okay. You lose time for just guessing. For being wrong. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. We just don't want to forget about part two over here. I'm just going to leave it on the side here because we won't need it. But these all we will likely need to figure out, set everything up as best we can. And you're allowed to look at anything you want. Ask people for quite, you know, ask people for things. Either these are all bad. relevant in some way, shape, or form. Okay. Got the map is able to be seen on the camera. It goes to right here. So, really, Let's see if we can try and adjust there. I'll make sure people can see it. I need help. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see all of it too, yeah. How's that? I'll pull this right. That's good. Right here. <laughs> well, pull it back then. So pull, pull the camera back a little more so people can see the full table then. Yeah. I want to see it. More is better. More is better. It's important for everybody to get, to get a chance to see everything. And our beautiful faces. Is that better? Frame yep. in? Yep. Good, good, good. All right. I think we're ready to begin. Yes. Let's do it. Push the button. Where? Right. Not that but <laughs> yep. Okay. Go. Okay. So let's no, look at this one. Really quick. Clues. Can we figure out which restaurant? Yeah, yeah, where's the restaurant? What was the name of the restaurant, Michael? Riverview. It says Riverview Reservation, seven fifteen PM. Yeah. Riverview. So Riverview Restaurant. So it must have a view of the bar, river. Riverview Bar and Restaurant right here. So yep. that's where he was gonna watch it. Okay. And so is he gonna blow up the stadium? Stadium or the science museum. Or this. Or the church. <laughs> we just yeah. need to figure out which side of the building he wants to sit on. <laughs> so this is a diffusion instruction guide. This is a note. This is a receipt. Here's the Riverview restaurant tab. Yeah. Not gonna help us in any way. These are um Okay, listen to this. Oh, it says oh. this is from a week earlier. So the 29th was the reservation. It says check locations, gardens, stadium, cathedral, GF Tower, University, Wire Bridge, GF Bridge, Riverview. There's the uh, stadium, cathedral, gardens. There's a tower, GF Tower. Mar Did you say Maria Church? Nope. What did you say? It said uh, gardens. There's gardens. Stadium. Cathedral, right there. GF Tower, um, and there's a GF Bridge as well. This is the GF Bridge. So there's a tower somewhere. Um, also... The tower of Grand Fenway? Yep. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Yeah. And then Riverview, so that must be the restaurant. Yeah, the restaurant's there. University. University is right there. And Wire Bridge. No, 
This is the only one. Yeah. With the cables. One. Oh, that wire bridge. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So there was eight things that we did, right? Yep. What is okay. what is this that you're reading? Uh, it is a piece of a notepad from a calendar. Was that from March twenty second? March twenty second. So was the day he scouted locations. Yeah, this is the GPS signal on uh, of all relevant locations visited and uh, the times that he visited them and the coordinates. Okay. On March 22nd. 23. Wait, is this? This is why 24 and that's 23. At 2.30. 2.30, which is a question mark here. Yep. And so here is the rest of that list. Okay. So, so do you think it, if he you know, did him in order, order, yeah, then the gardens would be X thirty seven Y thirty six or X X thirty seven Y thirty six. That's not. So actually, he went to the university first. Okay. On March 22nd. They said the bomb was 8. Okay. 8 then we don't know where he went. Okay. At 10. Next one. 11.46. He went to X24, Y29. X24, Y29? Yeah. Which is the garden. Fenwick Garden. And then at 1.39... <laughs> We don't know where he went. So this is nine eighteen, and this is eleven forty six, and then ten. We don't know. Do you are you missing the uh, tower one? You're missing uh, the tower time because this has got the time that he was at the at one point. Yeah, that would be that's what? these things are going to tell us the time of each yeah, of them. I yeah. think. Yeah. Uh, okay. What time does it say that? It says 145 for when he was at the tower. So is that one on here anywhere? Yeah, 139. We have question mark. So yeah, it's probably the tower. Yep. And that is um, 3221. Uh, he is the first hint card. Keep going, Bibble. I mean, that's the hint card says crucial question during. In Let me make sure this is right. Yep, yep. Crucial question during interrogation. At what time was William at eight lo at the eight locations on March 22nd? <laughs> Which is good because that's, that's what exactly we're doing. We're way ahead of you, yeah. card. We're ahead of you, card. <laughs> we're on it. Oh, and then this one we have the cathedral at two thirty. From ten a.m. to eleven a.m., the Grand Stadium. So it's probably this one here. Yep. And then on this Riverview receipt. It says 5.02 p.m. Because... So he was at the restaurant at 5.02. That's after. That's after. after this. He, so he... Wait, is this the restaurant? That would just mean he paid. Like, he went oh, there at yeah. 4.48, and right. then he paid at 5.02. Yeah. Oh, okay. So the okay. last one would be restaurant, then. The last one is the restaurant, then. Okay. X29, Y22, just to yeah, make sure. Yeah, that one. Um, X29... Yeah, that's the restaurant. Okay, that's so the last one's the restaurant. And then uh, we look up X26Y20. <laughs> what did you say? X26Y20. At what time? Y20. That's 350. This is, so this is the X26. kiosk, Grand kiosk Grand Tower? Yep. It's the oh, wire bridge. That's earlier here. The wire bridge is what you just asked about, Kelly. Yeah, okay. At, wire bridge? At 350. <laughs> Okay, so he's also walking in between these places. This one is a, did we look at that one yeah. yet? Yeah, we got he's that walking. one. That's a tower. <clears throat> that one's done. Must be one. in shape. Do any of these feel like they <laughs> or have... Or driving, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I feel like he's probably driving. Okay, I'm missing two. What do we have left? Um, from the note. From the... Oh, on, on the other side. Okay. Um... We have the GF bridge and the. We'll look at the um, look at the x and y coordinate. So the y coordinate for the GF bridge is twenty two, and the x is sixteen. Do you see that anywhere on there? No, no, they're question marks on the coordinate. 
Okay, okay well, that's what I was just yeah. making sure we didn't have that one. Um, so we don't know when he was at the oh, bridge, I and what's the other one? There's one more that we don't know where, when he was there. This uh, is from 2 3 to 3 3. We got that one? That's the afternoon service. That's Cathedral. Cathedral. Yep. There's nine places on here, and only eight on there. Unless there's another church that he's going to. Did he go to a place twice? There's okay. this church, so first, and there's also this matter. church. First he went to the university. Oh, there's two. Oh, God, there's then two more churches. Then he went churches. to the stadium. Then he went to Fenwick Garden, which is where... Is there a cathedral and a state and a church? Yep. There's a cathedral yeah. here, and there's two churches. churches okay, right so it's there. one of the churches then. Afternoon service at two thirty to three thirty. So which which church is it? So it's not. It might not be cathedral, cathedral there maybe. then. How do we get that? How do we know that? Just because of this? Yeah, this one has question marks. Yeah, but did it match the uh, location? Yeah. Yeah, 20, we need to look at the locations. Uh, y twenty four and X twenty. What's this? Y twenty four. Yeah, that was Saint. Yeah. Maria did we do this one already? Okay. No. Grand Stadium, pick up coat at plus four. or minus 4 p.m. Okay, so, so that's Grand Stadium. He went to the Grand Stadium again. He went to the Grand Stadium twice? Yeah. Did he? Are you sure? That one could have gone because there's nine, right? What's this so one So maybe from he went to yeah. the stadium not, twice. So we don't know the 4 p.m. one? That's going to be the great, the Grand Stadium to pick up his coat. Okay. And then he was at the wire bridge right before that? So he was at the wire bridge. Yeah. And then he went to the stadium in 10 minutes. Which makes mm -hmm. sense because there's nine coordinates on there. So he and went he somewhere went twice. Yeah. Yeah. What are we missing now still? Or did we just solve We're it missing by one. Right? Yes. The, uh, which was the last one left on here was the other bridge. The GF bridge. Okay, so this kind of gives us an es then an estimate of how long it takes to get from one location to the next. Dear Mom, if they, found this okay. if they found this letter, I've been arrested by the police for placing a bomb. I'm very sorry, Mom, but it's my duty to make the world a better place. I had to see it. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, the combination lock is on, on the answer machine. Oh, let's just go get that answer machine. <laughs> so, okay. Okay. Number two. time... Use the string. Eliminate one location because it's too far. You can eliminate two locations that are too close. Here's the, the key over here. So this is 500 yards. So we need to figure out what the... Is it so listen to we this. We need to figure out what the blast radius is or something? Um, in, in the, so bombing description. Oh, okay. Invented in 1942 and first used in the blah blah blah. Bomb pro proved to be successful uh, to destroy any target within 550 meters. So this is 500 yards, which is... Just like a little bit less. Yards are less than meters or more than meters? Yards are more than meters. Okay, so 550 is about 500 yards then, right? Would you say? I think so. I don't know. That would make sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a For the purposes yardologist. Of this, that would make sense. So that's 500. So we need to eliminate what location. Because if he wants to watch it from the restaurant. He can't be That church closer. is too close. That's too close. Um, the cathedral is far enough away. The bridge is probably too close. So we can eliminate the bridge and. Um, I think that I think the only one we can eliminate is the bridge. What does it say? Eliminate one location. What did the hint say? Bridge. Or do we get to look at it again? But this. Yeah. You can. So there's two locations that are too close. Too close. Two, that are too, two that are too close. <clears throat> it says, use the string. Eliminate one location because it's too far, and eliminate two locations because they're too close. Uh, is there four churches? So this, basically, he would be in the blast radius of two locations, yes. so he could not have been there. This church is almost exactly 500 yards. Like, if you're going from red dot to red dot... Yeah, then that's too close. I would say that's too close. Yeah. Okay. And th so cathedral. I'm, okay. <clears throat> the cathedral and the wire bridge, we think, are too close. Okay. I would also no, what's say... What's too far? What, how do you know what's too far? On here, it says... Diner with a view, you can see as far as the Tower of Grand Fenwick. So the restaurant he was at, the view, you can see all the way to this the tower. This is Grand Fenwick to Bridge? Tower. So, so he can see... anything farther than that, you can't see. So if we go from the restaurant to here... Right. 
which nothing that's further than that. that. The so the university is too far. The university. Too. Everything else. And he couldn't is see that. the university from the restaurant, but he can see as far <laughs> as that. So we could Eliminate. cross up those. Yeah. I'm so funny and brilliant. After today, the only way to see that special shape is to walk my route via the five remaining locations. Because after the bomb goes off, that shape will be gone forever. This is a funny shape. <laughs> okay, so the five locations is the Grand Stadium, Fenwick Garden, Tower, uh, GF Bridge. Why don't we... Yeah, write them down. We said... Let's see. So are we saying, are we eliminating these? Yeah. Those and I pull these off? Yeah. And, okay these, and this one too. Alright. Yeah. What, what about this one? <clears throat> I mean, that's, well, that's, that's where, where he that. is. So we can oh, pull it off just to... Oh, oh sorry. What did it say? What, could you read it again? I'm sorry. I'm so funny and brilliant. After today, the only way to see that special shape is to walk my route via the five remaining locations. Because after the bomb goes off, that shape will be gone forever. Green Stadium, Garden, Tower, Bridge, and the restaurant. Or back to Stadium. It's this shape. The bridge is the same shape as the oh. uh, as the routes. You see, yeah, it is. You see the yeah, that's a, yeah, that's the shape. So, do we think he's going to try to blow up the bridge? Why does that matter? Why, why does the shape matter? The... That's just the shape he's talking he, about right yeah, now. Yeah, like he just likes the shape. This this shape, the bridge shape, is the same thing as if you laid it out right here. Like that. Yeah. No, I got that. <clears throat> and how do we know which we we're trying to find the location he's going to bomb, right? Yeah, so that shape is going to be gone forever when he blows up this place. Mm -hmm. So it could be the middle one, the gardens, because then it'll just be a triangle. One question. Were we supposed to eliminate this or eliminate the location that he was actually well, in? Well, he wasn't going to be there because he wanted to watch the explosion. That's what so. I'm saying. Like, He wanted to watch it from <clears> that, but that would be one of the locations that we would eliminate, right? So maybe we weren't supposed to eliminate the church. Hmm... Because he's still saying During five interrogation, William said, follow my footsteps to the five remaining locations with the string and see what shape. Remember, I visit one location twice. Yeah, so he goes from the... Uh... Yeah, he... Right. Yeah. Then he went to the Grand Station twice then. Yeah, so that's yeah. the starting and ending the starting point. And what does the point. shape give us, though? What does that the give shape us? The shape the gives us the shape of this bridge. Yeah. And he said it's going to be gone forever? Okay. Yeah, the shape. Yeah, so, so I'm it's thinking forever. he wants to blow the bridge up. He wants to blow yeah. the bridge up. Yeah. So, so now we, we have to figure out. Probably well, the put in the, the GPS coordinates of the bridge. Yeah. I think. So the coordinates of the bridge are... X16 and Y23. Hang on, why 22? B1622. Are these the coordinates for the keys? Is that what we're talking about? Yep. If you, if you use if you use 1622, you'll find 1622 on the keys and then put those in. Just make sure they're oriented the right way. So what do you like? Like that, you think? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, X is always first on these, and then Y. One, six, two, two, right in here? Mm-hmm. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> One. <laughs> six. Two. Yes! All right. So we got it. So now, what do we do? Now we'll part, 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 part two. Right. Awesome. Keep all this stuff too. We're still probably going to yeah, need it. Yeah, we'll probably, oh, okay. especially I'll the, the I'll, map. I'll probably. Leave these there, then. We can put these in a. Pile. Do you want me to leave the pieces of paper on there? Or. Um. Yeah. For now, until we know that we don't. I never expected you'd find the suitcase bomb in the in time underneath the railing of the beautiful bridge, but you did. I warn you, if the bomb does not explode, all of the bad people can keep on infecting society with their poison. But you are only halfway now, and you still have to open the combination lock on the suitcase. You still have to unlock the combination lock on the suitcase first. I had to write a hint on the suitcase because I kept forgetting the code. 
I did encrypt it, so you won't be able to understand it anyway. Even if you manage to open the suitcase, you still have to defuse the bomb correctly. There's no way you can manage it all it out in time. The clock is ticking, William. Okay. Ooh, it's a little suitcase. Do you not... Oh, no. There's the, uh... Is there a in it there? Part three inside. Before you've entered the second correct code in the... Co so you can't enter the code until you... You can't open this until you open, uh... Enter the code. Yeah. Enter the, another, the next code. All right. Okay. So we have this now. I know this is relevant, right? Bomb diffuser instructions. We don't need yes. this likely. This is we use for the most part. What's this side? You, you want the note to your mom? It told you the code for the. the... Don't forget, combination lock is on entering the machine. Entering machine number one, ton of secret three. One ton. Secret three. There's one ton, right? Yep. Secret three. So, we have to figure out what these correspond to. Ton Don't forget, there's also the cipher here that you're going to end up using one of them, probably. Yeah. yeah. That's just like on the side of the box, but this is easier. There cipher any other disc. information? If you end up using a cipher, that's the only cipher you use for the whole, the whole thing. Okay. Okay. That looks like the only meaningful thing on this box was that clue. Let me see. What's at the top? Is there not a code right there? Or no. is that just not for No, it's just suitcase contents. There's a puzzle and two diffusion notes. Nope. Okay, here's the this is the beginner's bomb diffuse instruction guide. For the front and back. Diffuse instruction this is not gonna be useful, I don't think. Not till we get into there, huh? So where's the answer? What's the back here? Do we have anything about the answering machine? Just One ton. Mm -hmm. Which location is shaped like the string? So okay, we are, we're, st we're still <laughs> way we're ahead. ahead. <laughs> Good. So this is his calls and text messages yeah. from his phone. Mm -hmm. That looks like it's... That we used to get all the location. Oh, okay, where. so there's more stuff here than... Oh, there, oh, oh that one there's just stuff on the back. told you where he texts his mom. The combination lock is on answering machine. Yeah. Oh, when did he put it on the answering machine? So that's his mom's number, and that's her number. So which number is not his mom's number, or her, or this this that's number, a different right? Number. This is a the different first number. one and that one are are not his mom. Yeah. What are they? Oh, go ahead. Zero zero nine nine probably doesn't matter. Uh, three six five one six two eight nine. One ton secret three. We've got three and one in between here. How many? How many uh, digits is that? Four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, ten, eleven, twelve. So normally it'd be like that. Three, four, five. And then this would be the area code. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's the same same number of characters and the same number of digits. Oh, okay. Think it means. How do you? Okay, E is O, right? Because that's the only letter that's repeated. Or Normally, no, the T is repeated. If too. there's an E R, that means that we need to. Oh yeah, was there an E R? There's no E R on here, I don't think. Well, that on the box there though is the only time you need to use the cipher. Yeah, look at the ciphers and see if there's something with a um, that would have a you know, hash. Symbol you need to like use it if you don't cross the symbol. So. Oh. It would have been right next to the clue yeah. here, right? Most likely, yeah. Well, then maybe we don't use the cipher. Maybe we just figure it out. Maybe it's the numbers in between here. 
It would be backwards. Well, we figure out which ones are repeated. So nine is repeated three times. Is there any letters in here that are repeated three times? No. Just E's or two, two E's and two T's, right? It could be one, five, six, three. Why? Because this is one and three. One and three. Just go backwards. Saying backwards one times secret three. Why going backwards though? Because uh, the one and the three are flipped in the number. And how does ton and secret relate to five and six? Um, how many pounds is a ton? Uh, two thousand. Two thousand, right? Do I go for one five six three? No, I don't know. <laughs> how many minutes does that pull up? <laughs> one minute. Yeah. We still have six and a half minutes to figure out. So you get the next ten cards. Next so. We're, we're way ahead right now. So we don't have any other numbers. Ideas. One ton. I mean, I keep feeling One like ton. that's just not backwards. Yeah. But what is it telling us? Three. Tericus. I know. I did that too. <laughs> Just ton. a hashtag he was trying out. Hashtag one ton secret three. Yeah. That's also a symbol for number. Yeah, for yeah, sure. I know, I know. Just, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a millennial. We're, we're, soon, we're soon millennials will forget that and they no, won't no, know. No, no. I believe and it will always be pound. The one weird thing. What's another thing for the secret? Could be. I mean, you could. The phone will tell you the numbers too, I guess. Yeah, you write out. Oh time. yeah, read like write out the. Yeah, that's that's. That's. I think that's probably a better idea. <laughs> well, technically, it might be. Like if you were texting, like old school texting, is that yeah. what you're doing? Six six is N, right? Underscore is. Oh no! Oh, no, 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 no! Don't no, write. No. Just write uh, number. Yeah, 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 one digit. So it's number one. T is eight. Mm -hmm. O is six six six. N. Or just six. Yeah, just six. Just six. Like, be like if you numbers. were calling like one eight hundred, something, you would only press the number one. One eight six. Six again. Mm -hmm. S is seven. Yeah. E. Three. C is two. R is seven. E is two. Or sorry, three. Sorry, three. And then T is eight. And then three at the and three at the end. Seven, and then we look at let's look at the end. Let's look at the yeah. Is that, it, yeah, this is a number for sure. Like, mm -hmm. like one eight six six, and not one eight hundred. Let's call that. <laughs> <laughs> Just call <laughs> it on your phone call right now. It, yeah, we'll get. You're like, oh, I see you figured it out. Numbers. How do we get a four-digit code out of this? So it says answer machine, and then that's that's it. That's that's right. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure. This is nothing in the back here. It's just this. This is part for diffusing once we get inside. I think. Is there yeah. anything else we're missing? Right. This will probably be for later. In the back of this thing. No. Don't forget, combination lock is on answering machine. Uh, this is just a note. More hints still left. That's his number. That's his number. That's what we think is the answering machine number. This 
is another number he was calling. <laughs> what? I don't know. We have so many numbers. No, this is right though. Yeah. This makes sense on this thing. Well, if we need four this, numbers, this is, then the this number. is 12. We just break it into three digits per number, I guess. We don't even need the one here. Or, yeah, we Where do. Sorry, yeah, we, number sign. This is the number for the answer machine. What? That we know. Adding until they keep you keep adding the digits until they become a number. What's the highest number on the key on the keys that we have? On, on, on these, these keys? keys, yeah. What's the highest number? Six. I think six. It's one, two. Three. Also, they're double sided. Sometimes some they're one. letters and shapes and stuff. Yeah, too, it's just one through looks six. Looks like though. we're looking for number. Mm. One through six. How about, could those letters that are associated with each number spell out something different? Because we know they spell out one tongue secret three, but could they also spell out something different? Because each one of those numbers has different letters associated with it. So that's one, eight. Okay. It's got a little plastic ball on the end of it. So it's one, one eight six six. There we go. One eight six six. Yep. Uh, seven three two. Uh huh. Seven three eight. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just see this real quick. It's gonna be like. It's the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, at, we're at the bridge. Well, the one yeah. just has the voicemail symbol next yes, to it. Yes, so. you need to call the number with your own phone and get the combination <laughs> lock code to open the suitcase. Oh, okay, you do so we do have to call, call it. it. <laughs> I was like seriously about to ask, like, does it ever ask you to do this? It hasn't before. That's so crazy. Because it's a real number, and yeah. 866 yeah. is a real number. Yep, seven three two. Seven three eight three. Seven three eight three. Just dismiss me sometimes. <laughs> Yay! Wow. Okay. Well, we got we got the number though, so that was something. We opened the box now. All right. Go ahead. Somebody. Okay. Do the honors. Yeah. Now these cracks are <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Explosion. Uh -oh. oh. That is a puzzle. <laughs> can we move all this? Yeah. yeah we, we, can probably we don't move. need the map. Hopefully. Okay. We do need this, we probably though. probably need that. So here's these. Just don't here. forget that you might need those things. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just okay. keep them all so, together. Yeah, just in keep case. them aside. There are some diffuse notes, and there is a cipher on the back of them. Okay. Does it tell you which cipher to use, or you just have to figure yeah. it out? Yeah, figure you have it out. to figure it out. Alright. This one looks like Morse code. Yeah, there's Morse code back here. Yep. Which They're one? both Morse They're code. They're both Morse code. Okay. Are they the same? And all of them are going to be Morse code in this one, so. Mm -hmm. This too. Okay. 
So here we just need to start putting the puzzle together, right? Yeah. yeah there's a corner there. Yeah, here's a corner. Okay, there's borders right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just find those. This looks like a corner. As No, that can't be a corner. It looks like a corner of the border. Here's another one, which is likely oh, okay, dark brown border. Nope. Here's a here's a, a, another border here. Is this one? Anything? Yep. Yep. That one fits. That one's not perfect. It's plenty of time. <laughs> Alright, this looks like it matches. And yeah. we need this too, I'm sure. Yeah. This is the diffusing thing. Alright, so these have um, Morse, Morse code, code in the back. And they look identical to me. So, but they're different colors at the bottom, but they look identical. The actual Morse code. As far so. as the actual code. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to try to decipher this real quick. If somebody wants to. There's another, you can look yeah, on this side too. So if somebody wants to start get we have paper. Okay. Let's work from the bottom up. You work from the top, Nick. Okay. And we'll work from the bottom. So I'll look at this hint, but you go. So, yeah. Dot 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 dot. Four dot? Mm-hmm. Cut four cables out of eight in the correct order. Dot slash. So cut four cables out of the eight in the correct order. Each color can slash only be dot. cut each color can only be cut once. Check bomb use Flash on the diffuse instruction guide. So we'll need this, like I thought. And the last word. Yep, so this is and. And the last word. H. And H. Okay. Uh, before that, it looks like just one letter slash dot dot dot. Oh, B. Okay. And then the light above that. Dot slash slash. Dot dot. Um. Dot slash dot. Do you see that one? Mike? Which one? Dot, dot slash one. dot. It's R. R. Yeah. Just one dot. Yeah. Is E dot dot dot. Where are you guys on it? Yes. We're going bottom up, so we're yes. we're fourth line from the bottom now. Wires. Okay. okay. Oh, so it's wires B and H. So wires B and H. Uh, the word above that is slash dot slash dot. I've got beware never cut. Wires B and H. Yep, yeah, that's it. Beware never beware never cut wires B and H. That's what the message says. Yeah, there are definitely B and H too there. You should probably combine black. that yeah. with that black and which H. And it's got a little place where we can mark them off to say that we don't want to cut them too. Oh. In this boxes. Oh, we should use a pencil for that though. I don't have a pencil. Alright. Figure it out. I'll go get one. Oh, maybe this was an extra then for playing again. Or. Because it's. Oh, this is the colorblind. Color yeah, <laughs> this is the colorblind one. Okay, so okay. never cut wires. Never cut B wires B and H. H. Mm -hmm. Okay, so B. Is the uh, this blue has orange. this has this has oh yeah B would be blue orange and H is yellow and red 
Okay. Yellow and red, and blue and orange. Yep. Don't cut those. Don't cut blue orange, or Don't cut yellow red, and blue orange. Blue orange. Okay, these are the eight red. that are in there. Then. Mm -hmm. Is that what yep. he's saying? Yeah. Oh, cool. So the ones we don't want to cut. Or maybe yellows. This one, this blue and orange. These two already have X's on them. Yeah. So blue and orange, don't cut that one. And yellow and red, don't cut that one. Mm -hmm. So there's only, what, four left? Yeah. And this thing no, says... The same on, no, yeah, the same on both sides. Same. Cut oh, okay. four cables out of eight in the correct order. Each color can only be cut once. Okay. Check the bomb use. So we have brown, white, red, orange. So white must always be cut at the nuclear explosive. Black must always be cut at the fuse. Always cut the wire at the ignition before you cut orange. Uh, never cut two times in a row in the top or bottom part of the suitcase. Okay, so we always have to alternate. Always finish by cutting the wire at the detonator, but be careful not to cut green. So you can't cut green last? I guess we don't cut green oh, at all. Oh, no, okay. Yep. Make sure, uh, always make sure to cut blue before you cut the nuclear explosive. Which one was the nuclear explosive? White? White. Must always be cut at the nuclear explosive. So we have to cut blue before, blue before white. Before white. There's no blue. Though, right? Is there not? Oh, no. there's not, yeah. And that always not make sure to cut blue. Is there anything before blue? Is there anything that's supposed to be before blue? Isn't, this, uh, isn't blue up here? These, uh, all these are the same going through. And those are the same. So, like, these are the same as this. And all of these are the same as this. Oh, it's just multiple ones? Yeah. So we can play more games than one? Yeah, okay. I guess so. So, we can only cut, so, where's the fuse? And so these where? are the two places where we can cut, I think. Right yeah. here and right there. Okay. Oh, wait. There's, there's another the explosive. One. There's the Explosives. ignition, right? And there's there. Oh, God. Four places. So that's the order that we'll put the keys in, then, is mm -hmm. the four cuts that oh, we Oh, this need. is kind of telling. This is the... Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, you do need to use yeah, all Yeah, they're these. all four sections, okay. yeah. Okay, to be in order to see which one... Because we're going to cut one first, then another one, then one up here, and then one down here. Yep. So we, all we have is a clue that... The, these green ones aren't cut. Oh, second. there. Yeah. Okay. okay so so we don't eraser. cut the green or blue second. Yep. Yeah, yeah. erase those X's. So we are going to have to cut green or blue. Just not there. So, well, we're never going to cut these, right? Yeah, we're never going to cut. We're yeah. never going to cut these. So these can stay Never going to cut blue and orange and never going to cut yellow and whatever. Yellow and red. Yeah. So actually that helps us a little bit, but we do know we have to cut blue before we cut the nuclear explosive. So blue can't be the last cut. And it says white must, must always, always be, be cut, cut at, at the, the nuclear, nuclear explosive. explosive. So white should be last. No. No. Not necessarily. Blue it's just, just that blue would have to be before white. Yeah. So we're going to be cutting it here, 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 here. We have to alternate. Always finish by cutting the wire at the detonator, but be careful not. Oh no, detonator is here. Yeah. Okay. This is the detonator, so that's where we want to end. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So maybe we go here, boom, boom, here, boom, here. boom. Yeah, probably. That makes sense. Okay. Or it could be boom, 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 boom. Or does it have, you said it has to switch sides of the suitcase every time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this one, this one, this one, this one. Yeah, so okay. that has to be the order then, okay. right? There's no order. And then which one is the fuse? Or it could be. That's got to be here, right? That's the fuse. So yep. black must always be cut as a fuse. This We're is the power think... source. Is that oh. the same thing? Well, I'm just thinking battery. the fuse of where it starts, right? Fuse so it starts here. So That's the fuse box right there. So yeah. this is going to okay. be one of these two, a black one. What does this say? Something suns? 
You can't read it upside down. Giovanni and Sons or Goriani Sons? Always cut. It's a 2 and 2 11 there. That's the same thing as what we have right there. Mm -hmm. Always cut the wire at the ignition before you cut orange. What's the. The ignition is like what you. Power? It See, I would think this that is would the, be ignition the ignition fuse. This is, this is ignition, ignition this is fuse, fuse detonator, detonator nuclear, nuclear device. device. Oh, okay. Okay, so we think this one is going to be black. This is the ignition. Cut the wire at the ignition before you cut orange. So this one is not going to be orange. Right. Okay. And then black must always be cut at the fuse. It's going to be one of these two. White must always be cut at the nuclear explosive, yes, which is down which here. Which is the last, so which are second This is going to be one of the white ones. Yeah. And then always finish by cutting the wire at the detonator, but be careful not to cut green. Can you put an X on uh, all the ones that aren't white up there? Because we can only cut one wire here, and it has to white. be white. Oh, right? yeah, so we can X out all the other white ones. And, and the black one on here. And on here, and the only out, the white ones but should white. be served. Everything else can be X'd out, <coughs> <Yeah>. but white. <coughs> and this one, all the other ones... It won't be white. Won't be white or black, right, on these two? Wait, no, this one is black. And then this one, we just know is not black or white. Okay. So we know the last one is going to be yeah, this one. Right? No, that's yellow. Yeah. <clears throat> the yellow and brown. All right. Which is E. Sequence. One, two, three, four, which is what we had decided. One, two, three, four. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, E is the last one. <clears throat> we can X out that one on the other one. blue before you cut the nuclear explosive. So that means so you have to this, have to this one doesn't have to be right. It doesn't have to be right before, yep. does it? Nope. Well, oh no, because that's two. explosive is two, so we have to cut blue first. Okay, so blue. Yeah, blue has to be cut first. So we know that one. And then blue and green is C. So we won't cut that one anywhere else. Can, is that anywhere that you can mark it out, or is it already blue and green? Out? We can cross off everywhere else. It's crossed yeah. off. Yeah. Okay. So blue and green first. Then what was the next clue over there? Uh, it has to be one of the white ones. It's got to be one of the white ones. Yeah. And then one but of the black But we said it one. couldn't be that white one, right? So it has to be black and red. Oh, okay, yeah. <clears throat> so, so black, black and, and red, red is F. Yeah. And then that... This is the nuclear device. White it's got to be orange, white. Which, which would be... D. D, yep. So one, so C... D, F, E. C, D, F, E. Alright, C, D, F, Oh, this is just a happy bomb. 759. <laughs> well done, Callie and friends. Yeah. Me <laughs> Callie and sidekicks. I almost yeah. had an opportunity to play there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, got involved. I like puzzles. So, but that is how you play the game Escape Room. This is the like third we were one. Callie's Angels tonight. <laughs> it was very, very, uh, we were doing pretty good actually this one. Yeah. Actually, we did better with this That's one good. than we did the first one. 759 is yeah, pretty good. Yeah. This was really good. Although, it, I mean, it takes almost the full time, like even if you're cranking along. Mm -hmm. yep. So yeah, we were way ahead and still only had seven minutes left. You're right. If you would have figured out to call, you would have been five minutes faster. I think. Yeah, that, that way. I should have spoken up. 
I was thinking, and I was like, that's probably dumb. <laughs> In a life or death situation, <laughs> no, you got to speak up, Nick. I know. No, it's cool how you can integrate technology into the game like that. Yeah, yeah. that is super cool. So, did you guys have fun? That yeah. game's awesome. <laughs> Great game. Play the, the number four, number two, whatever? Like, is this something you'd probably buy and play with friends, family? Oh, for sure. Yeah, this would be really This fun. would be a great party game. Yeah. yeah. The only concern I have is, like, once you play it, there's really not a way to replay it and get the same amount of value out of it. You get but four hours, hours That's what of I was just going to say. If you right, got right, four right. hours four out of this of box, that's pretty good. And that's then you can awesome. also, like, set it up for other people and, yeah. like... That's true. You, you, just facilitate you, you can help them if they get stuck or they go off on tangents they shouldn't be going on. You know? Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I can see that. Yep. This is an excellent game. We've been playing. We played three now so far. We did. I don't think you guys. Lo you guys lost the second one, huh? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Okay. But the third one here, we did pretty good. So if yeah. you like this game, you want to check it out. We'll have it in the description below. You can purchase Escape Room the game. Uh, this is a big hit on our channel. People really like this one, so we figured we'd play it one more time. And uh, I had fun. I think everybody else had a good time as well. Absolutely. So uh, thank you guys for watching our live stream today where we played Click Click Boom and Escape Room the game. We'll probably play the fourth one at some point, the Escape <laughs> of the Aztecs. That'll be an even harder oh one gosh. for Callie to accomplish. But I think she can do it. So, <laughs> uh, but nevertheless, I appreciate you guys watching. And as always, you can go ahead and check out our channel um, on YouTube here. Uh, subscribe, all that kind of stuff, as well as our website, unfiltergame.com. We have blog posts, giveaways, game service, and more. And uh, plenty of other good stuff there. Well, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys coming on. Thanks uh, for having thanks us. For and thanks for bringing out such a great game. Blast. If you guys uh, enjoyed watching this at home, go ahead and leave a comment and replying as to what kind of other escape room games you've played before. I know there's quite a few of them, and what one we should try as well. But uh, all right, guys, thank you for watching. As always, I look forward to seeing See you, you next time. time.